He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. Praise God. I hope you will uh, find that song and listen to it. The entire lyrics are just wonderful. Talks about then sweeping up to glory. Praise God. Talks about he will never, ever leave me, nor yet forsake me here. And uh, we know, we trust our Lord, God, and Savior. He promised to keep us. He's the author and finisher of our faith. He's told us not to be anxious for anything. Don't be troubled by the things we see. And they are heating up in the world, aren't they? But they are signs for us to observe and know how soon is the coming of our Lord. Well, my prayers are for Israel with all that they are going through at this time. And uh, for the children and the elderly and the families and uh, the young soldiers. I just, my prayers are with them. My prayers are with uh, Netanyahu and the leaders for counsel from above. And uh, just the leaders of the world, their reaction to what is going to be taking place now. We just uh, lift everything to God. Everything to God. His word has spoken things. Things will come about, and our trust is in his sovereign will in all matters. Praise God. Well, we are to Psalm 23, and our reading is the shepherd psalm. And, uh, you know, this is just a beautiful psalm that is used in so much to comfort people. I know I've recited this with a woman struggling in pain with cancer. Uh, so many funerals have this said at the funerals, written in the little obituary flyers that are given to the people that attend memorial services. It is a comfort. It's something that I, I haven't memorized lots of scripture. The Lord does bring scripture to my mind but psalm 23 yes is committed to memory and uh, many times when there has been discouragement it has been something that i've said out loud because it is a comfort just like psalm 91 is a comfort to us now with all that's going on in the world it is a good uh, psalm to commit to memory to pray over our families each day well, let's read Psalm 23. It is a psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And we know uh, in the New Testament, Jesus said that he was the good shepherd, that his sheep knew his voice, and another they will not follow. So we do know his voice. As we read this word, we know his voice more and more. It's very important to read the word. And uh, we just pray. For this shepherd watching over Israel today, watching over the Christians. You know, there are Christians that travel to Israel to celebrate Yom Kippur with uh, the Jewish people. So they are over there with this wartime um, attack happening in Israel. But, you know, just 
there's such a calmness in Psalm 23. There's a comfort. There's such a confidence in the Lord that he's taking care of us. And uh, I know I watched a clip of a young woman that was in Israel, and she was just very calmly. This was a very shocking attack. Israel really wasn't prepared for it. Uh, I think they'd probably thought maybe the day before they might get hit with something, and they were probably breathing a sigh of relief that that didn't happen, and then it does happen. So, you know, uh, it wasn't a, a successful attempt by Hamas on them, and, uh, you know, the last I heard, 250 people are dead and over 1,100 wounded, so that was several hours ago. Um, this is a very big hit for a very small nation, and we just pray God's covering over them. We pray that heavenly host that he has around Israel is there and indeed at the Lord's command will take care of the situations that arise in the coming days and um, pray for the safety of the people that have traveled there that they are able to return home out of that area and get back safely to their homes well, I love you. Jesus loves you more. If we aren't saved, it's time to get saved. Obey Acts 2.38. It tells you to repent, to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Pray for all saints and ministers, Christians everywhere, and uh, we pray for the little children. We pray for the little children. God bless them. Be blessed.